Hello, my name is Will Brooks, and my mission is to make coding fun and easy to learn. In today's video, we will learn two methods to add Google Fonts to our website. The first method is importing a font, and the second method is linking a font. By the way, what is your favorite font? Are there any fonts that you think are super cool? Please let me know in the comments below. Let's jump right in. We are going to start on the Google Fonts website. It is fonts.google.com all the way at the top, or you can just type in Google Fonts and you'll come up with this page. So you can see on this page, there's lots going on here. You have sort by trending, most popular. You can scroll up and down for all these different fonts. You can type in one. So let's just look at one real fast. We're gonna look at Glory. And you can see it has lots of different styles, lots of different weights. And if we go all the way to the bottom, it'll kind of even explain about what it is. For example, Glory is a modern sans serif font. The rounded corners give it a soft contemporary feel, yada, yada, yada. All that good stuff. Okay, so now we're going to go back and I already have a font chosen. The font that I've chosen for this video is going to be Nosifer. I kind of like Nosifer. It's really cool. So let's click on Nosifer. It only has one style you can see right there. Okay, now let's look. Look at that. Is that neat? It's like dripping. So let's look at the about. It says about Nosifer. Nobody knows where Nosifer comes from. It emanates a dark stench as it drips from the internet. How cool is that? Okay, so let's go back up. And we are, if you look at the right side here, we're going to select this style. We're going to click right there and select this style. Now, if I go all the way up, follow my blue circle and click up here, view, view your selected families, you can see that at the bottom here, it's it's selected. Nosifer is selected. But the really cool thing is, is that you can choose a multiple number of fonts. So we're going to choose another font to use in this video as well. The next font that I've chosen is called Finger Paint. And I chose Finger Paint just because it looks very different. So it's easy to see when we change it on my text editor. So again, we're going to go to the right and we're going to collect, we're going to click on select this style. Okay, now we're going to go all the way up and we're going to click view your selected families. Click on that. And now you can see we have Finger Paint and Nosifer together. And if we look here, there's two options. We can either link it or we can import the font. So we're gonna start with importing the font first and then the second way I'll show you is we're gonna link it. So we're going to copy and paste the uh, where it says import there. And I'm not gonna copy the style, I'm just gonna copy it before the style, just be after it and just before it because I'm gonna put this directly into the external style sheet. We're gonna copy this and I've got Replit up here ready to go, okay. So first, you can see that I already have Hello World up there as H1 and H2 as our sample. So let's go into our external style sheet here on the left side, and let's just paste this in. Okay, good. So we have the fonts here. So now let's take a look at what we're, let's take a look at what they look like. So we're going to do H1 space curly bracket, and then if we go back, we can type in font family, or we can go back here to Google and look down here. It says CSS rules to specify families. Look at that. We're going to copy and paste Nosifer. That's it. Let's copy that. And let's go back in here and let's paste it. Great. And let's run that. And then you can see it's dripping and oozing from Hello World. Now, just in case Nosifer, um, the, the, the browser can't find Nosifer, the second one is going to be cursive. So it'll use the other, the other font. So let's go back and capture our finger paint. And let's just copy and paste this. Oh, come on down. There we go. And copy. And let's go back to our text editor. And then first we need to put in H2. H2 space curly bracket. And then let's just paste it in here. Okay. And then let us run it. And you can see let's, have see, let's see how this font is going to look there. That's what it looks like on finger paint. Okay, great. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to use the link tag. So I'm going to delete this right now. Okay, I deleted everything and we're back to square one. So now we're going to go into Google and copy and paste the link page. Now we are back in our Google page and under link here at the bottom right, I am just going to copy. And then we're going to go back to Replit and paste this. So let's go back to Replit and we're going to paste this in the uh, index.html page right in here. So we're going to go right under the title, two spaces there, and then let's paste it. And then let's just 
do another space there so we can see that the way it is. Now, on the left side, we see an error here. And the error says, named entity expected, got none. That's because we have an ampersand, ampersand sign in here. So we've got to change that. So um, it's right there in between finger plus paint and family. So we're going to use the HTML entity. And to do that, it's going to be hashtag 38. And then we're going to do that down here. Oh, we need a semicolon. And then again, uh, down here for this one under Nosifer, my favorite. Let's do a hashtag three eight and then semicolon. So you can see the error sign is gone. Now, an easier way to do that, an easier way is the entity code. So I think I'm going to take that back. All you have to do is ampersand and AMP. And then again, we'll do that here. And then we'll do AMP and the error. There's no error there. Good. So before I didn't remove on the style sheet, we still have the font family nosifer and finger paint that we copied from before from Google. So let's run this and see what it looks like. Perfect. Okay, we've got the nosifer font in the H1 and we've got the finger paint font in the H2. Worked out perfectly. Great. Well, that brings us to the end of our video. To recap, we added fonts to our website by importing them from Google Fonts and pasting them into our external style sheet. We also copied the link and pasted that into our HTML page directly in the head section. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe below. Please let me know in the comments below what is your favorite font. See you in the next video.